In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can live stream on YouTube without OBS. But first, let's roll the intro. My name is Rob Balasabas. Hey. When I first started live streaming, OBS was one of the things that I came across, but I soon realized it's not for me. There's a lot of moving parts. There's lots of settings, so many things that I had to worry about. So I actually started looking, researching, and I came across a tool called StreamYard. You can find a link down in the description if you wanna check it out. That is what I use now when I go live on YouTube, on Facebook, LinkedIn, as well as Twitter. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use StreamYard to live stream to YouTube today. Let's go. All right, so welcome to my screen. Now, to get started with using StreamYard to go live on YouTube, all you need to do is just click the link down in the description. It'll take you to the StreamYard website. It is an affiliate link, so I do appreciate your support for this channel by using that link. When you get there, you can create a free account. Now, with the free account, you can still use StreamYard for free for up to 20 hours a month. Once you get to that website, you can click on Get Started right here. It'll ask for your email address, and then it will email you a login code, a unique login code, so you don't don't need to actually set a password with StreamYard. It is connected to your email address and it's totally secure. Once you get to your StreamYard dashboard, you'll go to destinations on the top left. And that is where you'll be able to click on add a destination right here. Now you have the options to connect different social channels, including YouTube to StreamYard. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on YouTube channel, the little red button right here. And now it'll take me through the steps of connecting my YouTube channel and select my YouTube channel. I will click allow. Perfect, so now my YouTube channel is connected to StreamYard. My next step to start using StreamYard to go live on YouTube is to click the create a broadcast button right here on the top left. There'll be a pop-up with options for my different channels that I've connected with StreamYard. As you can see, I've connected different Facebook profiles here, my LinkedIn profile as well, because I do have LinkedIn Live Access as well, my personal YouTube channel, the TubeBuddy YouTube channel, Periscope slash Twitter. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna select my personal YouTube channel. So now you'll see these fields that pop up. So I will select title and type in live stream on YouTube for the first time. <laughs> I will then put my description. And then I can also select if it is public, unlisted, or private. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna select it to be a unlisted live stream. And then now I have the option to either create the broadcast right now or to schedule it for later. Now, the nice thing with this is that I can actually schedule this for later so that I can promote the live stream, which is always a best practice if you're gonna be doing live streams on a regular basis. When I click that, I'm able to then have two additional options. The first one is to upload a thumbnail image. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that now. And I'm gonna select this thumbnail image that I've already pre-designed using easel.com, another awesome partner of mine, for an interview with Natalie Haley that is actually already scheduled, but I'm just gonna show this to you guys right now. I'm gonna click open. And this is gonna pop up here so that I can actually crop this image, this thumbnail if I wanted to, but I've designed it to be optimized for YouTube thumbnails. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click apply. I do also have the option to rotate these images if I want to, but I'm already set up for that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click apply. And there you go, it's showing up right there. So now the next option is to schedule the start time. So I'm gonna put this for you know next week. So let's say exactly one week from today at 8 a.m my local time, which is Pacific local time. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click Create Broadcast. All right, there you have it. So now it is here on my dashboard, It you can see. And I'm gonna show you on YouTube where I can find that now. All right, so let me quickly show you what it looks like on my YouTube channel. This is actually the proper scheduled live stream, but I'm gonna show you the one that we just created, which is really easy to find if I just go to my TubeBuddy quick links menu right here on the top right, and I go to my videos. And then when I'm here on my videos page, I click on live. I will see that unlisted live stream that's already set up right there through StreamYard directly into my YouTube channel. 
Again, this is unlisted, but the one that I have already set up is public and you can actually see that. By the time you watch this video, this interview will probably have been done, so you can actually watch this interview with Natalie. Let me take you back here to the StreamYard dashboard and go into this live stream by clicking Enter Broadcast Studio. All right, so this is the little welcome window where I can actually click on cam and microphone so that I can see which camera I'm using. If you are using an external camera, you can actually attach it here and it will become an option. You can also select audio and right now I'm using my Yeti microphone, but you can actually set this to be different microphones, your internal microphone, if you have another microphone that you'd like to use, as well as your speaker. So right now I have my headset attached to my Yeti. That's why I've selected the Yeti microphone as my speaker. Now this is a little bit more advanced, but there is also a green screen option inside of StreamYard that you can use, but I'll save that for another tutorial video. Before we click on Enter Broadcast Studio, you can actually set your name to be here. So I can put Rob Balasabas, comma, TubeBuddy if I like. And now I can click Enter Broadcast Studio. This is the Broadcast Studio. So this is the control room for your live stream. Here are the different windows at the bottom of different guests or your camera or your screen. And again, this is gonna be something that I will create another tutorial for, but I simply wanted to show you how you can go live on YouTube without OBS by using StreamYard really easily. Just to give you an example, this is what it looks like with me on the camera. I can also share my screen if I like. I can also put banners and things like that that I'd like. So you can see the different banners here that I have set up. And again, you can change all of the branding really quickly. You can add overlays and different things. So it's a really, really easy tool to use. And once you are ready to go live, you just need to click that blue go live button on the top right and you will go live to YouTube. All right, hopefully that video was helpful to get you started with live streaming on YouTube super easily using StreamYard. Check out this next video where I show you how to multi-stream, meaning going live to multiple channels at the same time using StreamYard. Thanks again for watching. I hope that you consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.